would you rather have? If you were starting a team today and you see the greatness of both of these young men, it seems like when you ask the question today, it's almost a slam dunk. Everybody's going to say Lamar Jackson. I'll, I, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll surprise you. As great as Lamar Jackson is, the threat of injury looms around every single corner because he plays the game differently than other quarterbacks play it. He's going to run, and you know, Mahomes runs too, but not nearly as much as Lamar Jackson. I'm going to go with the guy I think is going to remain healthier for longer. Even though, ironically, he's been hurt all year. Yeah, it's amazing. He's been hurt, but I, I would go with Mahomes. Mahomes, to me, his greatness has not dimmed because of the sparkling nature of what Lamar Jackson's done. Your thoughts? Yeah, I, listen, I, I probably lean towards you as well. Um, they both have been in the league. The, the, the amount of games played is, is kind of negligible, right? Because Mahomes is still relatively new to the league. And there is the irony of Lamar Jackson staying power. Can a quarterback like that stay healthy? The reason why they're always trying to convert quarterbacks like this into pocket passers is because as you get older and those skills begin to diminish, you become more vulnerable. You don't want to be that guy like RG3 that gets hurt. You want to try to find, you want to morph into what Russell Wilson is, right? A guy that can throw, he can run, but primarily you want to stay in the pocket and throw the ball. But I still need to see more. Steve Young said the same thing a couple of weeks ago, is that you need to see a little more. But as far as adjustments are concerned, that was the fear last year when they lost to the Chargers in the playoffs. Remember, that game... Harbaugh was under a lot of criticism for not pulling Jackson and putting Flacco yeah, back into the remember game. Remember that? Yep. And the feeling was, all oh, the league caught up with Lamar Jackson. Well, he went to school on that and now has learned from it and has gotten better. So is that an indication that maybe the league won't figure him out right away? So we've got to get over the old biases of these types of quarterbacks don't last longer and just to, just appreciate what we're seeing right now. It's very interesting. I mean, I probably would go with Mahomes because ultimately you want to stay in that pocket to try to stay healthier. But the guy threw five touchdown passes, probably could have threw eight if he stayed in the game for the full 60 minutes. So I'd like to see a little bit more. But right now what you're seeing is maybe somebody that could potentially – defy the old prejudices of these types of quarterbacks don't last long in the league. I, I right now, and I, I may be a victim of the moment, but I lean Lamar Jackson. Um, only because if the number one quality, uh, and we, we, we would say Lamar's a better runner, although Patrick can, can run, mm -hmm. and Patrick has a much better arm. And though, I think that's why Patrick doesn't run as much, because he trusts his arm. Though Lamar can throw, right. and yesterday incredibly accurately. But that said, it seems like the main thing we're, we're looking at here is likelihood to get injured. So I can't look over the fact that one of these guys has been injury-ridden the entire season, and the other guy who we're more worried about, who's been sprinting all over the place, at this very moment is just fine. To me, there is no way to game plan for Lamar Jackson. Now, if you were to say who's going to have the longer career... I'm not sure. I guess it depends. I mean, maybe this is a freak thing for Mahomes. You don't know. You don't know. Mahomes could end up being an injury-played quarterback just because that's how his body type is. We have no idea. But at this moment, if I'm forced to choose, I don't think there's right. a player in the league well, I pick above Lamar Jackson. But I, I don't want to be forced to choose for either of them because what you're seeing on the other side of the field last night is the epitome of why you're not supposed to crown championships or how great people are off of one year. I mean, you look at McVay and what he did with L.A. last year, and it was, well, this is the prototype coach. I mean, this is what everybody's now striving for, the young genius assistant is why that Cliff is going to become has a job. the next great guy. And, and we have seen coaches get hired based on that mold, and now look at it. They're an average football team. They're a shell of what they were. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that McVay's not a good coach, but is, the, is he the genius that he was last year? Is Goff now... A franchise quarterback? He sure doesn't look like one. Last year, he takes the team to the Super Bowl. Now, this year, you're just wondering, do you have a quarterback? So, you need some longevity. You need to piece together a few seasons before we start crowning greatness. But your question's great because it's not like Mahomes has been in the league forever either. No, I, I mean, this is really only his second year right, in the league. because he sat for the first year. And, and you, you reminded me, I mean, he, he was a laughingstock, Lamar Jackson, in that playoff game. Get, get, get Flacco back in there, and they didn't do it. So everything is fluid. I think that's something different, like Lamar Jackson. And I'm not taking anything away from this kid. 
I think you can game plan for him. I think somebody can come up with something. Maybe. It wasn't maybe the Patriots. We'll, but maybe we'll see it in the playoffs this year. The Ravens oh. go against the Patriots, and they will come up with and something. And may maybe we'll see it next week. Uh, the Ravens play the 49ers. No, we won't see it unless we have the NFL package. Can you believe that that game is a 1 o'clock game and we can't see it in New York because the Giants and the Jets are playing at 1 o'clock? 